Hi there. So this is part three of the setting up the edge router X with land segregation and VPN access. Um, in this part, um, I'm setting up the Wi-Fi access points. Um, if you've read the blog post, you'll know that I'm using just normal home routers that I've got lying around as my access points. I'm not going to go through the configuration of each one of those in detail because they're just random routers and the, the, the configuration will be uh, will look different on depending on your system that you're using um, but there are some basic tenants which I, I am going to cover very briefly um, the first basic tenant is that we want each router to be in, in access point mode if possible um, not all routers can do that one of mine that I have can and one can't um, Access point mode just basically tells it that it's not a router. Um, so it, it just dis disables a bunch of stuff automatically, um, which is very useful. Um, but if you haven't got that, it's still no problem. You can configure it to work correctly. Um, the basic things you need to follow, what I'm what I'm doing on mine is I, I'm going to give each one um, a static IP address. Um, of dot two of the subnet that it's in. So in in my 192.168.4 subnet, um, the router that's on that subnet is going to be 192.168.4.2. Um, I'm going to disable DHCP on each of them, and this is this is because DHCP is enabled on the edge router, and that is what's going to be giving out our IP addresses on our network. Um, and finally. The cables, they, uh, I'm not using the internet port on each of the routers. I'm just using one of the bog standard switch ports. These are usually labeled one to four, just um, one of those, because like I said, we are using this as a switch rather than um, a router. So I've got mine configured up now. I've got two Wi-Fi networks configured up. Um, one's called Asus and one's called Asus IoT. Uh, the ASUS network is our dot four range and the IoT is our dot three range. So if I just, and it's important to keep in mind that I've got these SSIDs separate because in my case, I want them as separate networks. I want, um, if you refer back to the blog post, you'll know that I am trying to create one network, which is just a normal network for most of my devices. And then I want to create another network, which, which is on a permanent VPN to wherever I want that VPN to be. Um, this is useful for geo-restricted um, geo services such as Netflix, um, et cetera. So if I connect to my ASUS network, and it's connected, so we'll see what IP address I have. I have a .4.40, that is what, what I expect. If I connect to the IoT network now, There we go, that's connected. So if I check my IP address, it's still saying 4.40. Um, what I'm going to do is I'm just going to um, just disable the Wi Fi network briefly and then re enable it. Make sure I get connected to the IoT network, not the not the ASUS network. Connected. Now I check my IP address. Dot three dot thirty nine. So if we just go and just make sure dot six eight dot three dot one, that should bring us to our edge router, which it does. Three dot two should bring us to the um, bring us to the router for that network, which it isn't. Oh, it's HTTPS. Change that to HTTP. There we go. That's that one. And 4.2 should bring us to our ASUS um, RTAC3200, which it does. <laughs> 